So here is my first One Little Dreamer design team project. I hope you guys like it. You might have seen a little sneak preview on my Facebook or my Instagram, which yeah, finally I'm on Instagram, you guys, of the top of this dress form. So what I did is this dress form was actually made from one of the paper mache body dress forms from uh, the torso dress forms from Michaels. And these are just some wood pieces that you can get at either one of your craft stores. So I paint it all with Annie Sloan chalk paint in the Provence with a bit of old white mixed in and this is just the old white paint color. So this is the Pearl Drop trim that you can also still get in um, Artie's One Little Dreamer shop. So this is that which I used on the necklace here and as we go down further you will see that this is the heart trim. I, these are the ones I have left. I have quite a few left. I used it right here on the bodice around the bust and right below that I use this <coughs> I wrap them in these little vintage papers so I can keep them all together this is the um, white uh, pearl and rhinestone trim which is like about an inch wide I use that all the way around the bodice so below I used the larger bridal trim on the lower part of the bodice as you can see this is that trim right there this large trim and most of that right here. Used this larger piece here. Here is the center piece, the middle piece from this right here. And it goes all the way around to the back. Now this is another trim. It looks like this, but it also has all of these trims I cut apart and you'll see on my one of my second projects. And this goes below here. So I use that and this is another trim, another scalloped bridal trim that's also available in Artie Shop. I used all of it for my kit. Let me turn this around. So as you can see there's the back of the bodice and I just used this bling from my um, from my collection of blings which I think I got that one from D. This is the bottom part of that large bridal trim and here is that other trim that I showed. It went all the way around. I used this trim also on my second project. So as far as these little ones, these also come from, like I said, all of this you can cut apart and use, well there's another piece from another one, use all over the place. I cut these into small bits and pieces, depending on how I felt they would go. And I actually adhered them underneath the tool. This tool I actually used a the um, running stitch, and I did the whole thing, I don't even know how many yards of tool in there, to show a little bit of dimension. I didn't want to just put it on the top and, um, have them just laying on top there so as you can see I didn't cover I covered originally the um, the bodice part on the actual mannequin with um, on the dress form excuse me with the material with the satin fabric but I didn't really like it because I felt like it muted all of the trims and laces and all the sequins and all the pearls I feel like it took away from it so when I removed it and I just put the the trim back on the dress form I liked how the blue the Provence blue showed a little bit so I left it like that I wanted it to show more so it shows more dimension and you can see the fine detail all these beautiful trims from Artie's shop so let's go ahead and now look a little bit let me pull this up a little bit and this is a candlestick this is once again the wood um, one of the wood pieces that I use I think I got those from Hobby Lobby or whatnot look now you're seeing underneath her skirt and here is the paint again. Like I said, I painted it and I distressed it. It is about um, 15 inches tall. So it's a pretty nice size. Let me just show you guys again the back. And I wanted to go for a sort of Swan Lake kind of um, tutu. I've been wanting to make a uh, Swan Lake one and an Odette uh, um, from Swan Lake or um, the Sugar Plum Fairy from the Nutcracker. Totally love that, that ballet. So there's another look. Let me just go ahead and show you down again. Totally, totally love it. So here I am with my second project. And I just put this pink paper in the background so I can show it so you don't see a bunch of um, different things. And you can see the detail on the, on the trims. So this, once again, I used the bridal trim. And this one I actually cut up quite a bit. This is this trim right here. I cut off the the bottom part right in this right here bottom part and I used it all separate so let's see here I this is right here and here is the trim that I also used uh, which I am out of unfortunately on the lower part of the bodice for the dress form it goes all the way around and it kinda covers um, a little bit of the lid so I use that there this is the center piece right here I cut it apart 
I cut it, I separated it, and then I flipped it upside down to cover it, the gaps. Once again, I had covered this entire jar with lace, which actually comes in the kit, which you're more than welcome to use, but I felt like I wanted more of the clear glass to show through. So, and this part right here, this is the bottom part, which I cut off right here of this trim. I cut it off and I just flipped it around to cover this space. So I wanted it completely covered, yet not too overwhelming, and you can still see through it, through these gaps and everything. I, I liked it. So, and I showed you guys this other trim as well, which I used on the tutu. And at the bottom here, it has these, it has these, uh, these scallops. So I took that and I used it on the bottom. T uh, I turned it upside down and I used it on the entire bottom of the, of the jar. So I will turn the jar around. So as you can see, it is fully, fully, fully covered with the bridal tree. So the top part, you guys can see I used the rhinestone and pearl trim, which is about an inch wide. And I also, so I painted the, the lid and I also painted this grid. Now these grids come in this metallic color. I found them at, they have them at Joann's. Now that they have quite a bit of accessories now for the mason jars and many of the craft stores. So I painted it also in heirloom white. So if you wanted, you can put that on the inside of the lid and use this as a potpourri jar. Now the cool thing, since I didn't cover everything, the color of the potpourri or whatever you put in there would show through the um, through the trims. So you can use this, you can use it for potpourri, you can use these, if you guys don't know, you guys can use these for arranging flowers. This will help keep all the flowers in the section. This little jar can serve many purposes and you can use them for all arrangements, potpourri, all sorts of things. Another way I wanted to use this jar, this, uh, my little altered mason jar was as a candle holder, a votive candle. I like to use these electric little uh, tea lights to for the holidays to put in many jars. I sometimes put in that um, artificial snow for it to just have a nice little glow within the house. So we'll go, I'll go ahead and turn off one of these lights and show you what it looks like with the, um, the candle light inside. So here's the jar with the tea light inside. As you can see, it gives that nice rich glow and it's one of those tea lights that, you know, that flicker. So, um, if it was completely covered with lace, I might not show as much of the the the, the flickering uh, light that you would see right now. So I'll go ahead and turn it so you can see the nice tone it gives it. And so just imagine, you know, in the, during the holidays with the, with the lights down or in the evening, you can see the nice rich glow of the um, of this candlelight. So that was another one. I wanted this to be multifunctional. I was going to dye this uh, this lace, but I wanted it to be just all white so I can use it anytime. I can use it during the holidays. I can use it for Valentine's Day. I can use it for Halloween if I wanted to. Um, you can make this in black. These trims come in black as well. And you can use them to make maybe a Halloween jar. So, And you could put the, you wanted a more luxurious, elegant Christ, I mean Halloween. You can make this in all black. The trim comes in all black and this large bridal trim comes in black. So you can make it in a black um, design for Halloween. So imagine the light coming through there in a black trim and a black lace. That would be super awesome. So if you guys have seen my videos, this is my little heart hanger that I make. Um, I had a few to sell at one point. Um, I painted this also in the heirloom white that I did the jar lid. So I sewed or stitched, I'm not sure exactly how you would call it, the um, this heart trim. And I, had sev I have several of it left, so I might make some more of these to the actual hanger and then I took that pearl uh, drop trim and then I stitched that to the center part of this hanger to give it a double heart, well triple heart really if you think about it, the, the hanger, the trim and then this pearl drop trim and I stitched it and I uh, stitched it so like whatever um, to the actual heart so it give more of a heart so it has this beautiful bling to it and you can hang a tag, you can hang a card, just like you can with uh, with the hangers. I actually thought this would be a real beautiful idea for either a Valentine's Day gift or a Christmas gift. It didn't matter, whatever. Um, as a tag, you a gift tag. So you can just loop this over the gift bag or to the ribbon of a present and have this hanging with a little tag, you know, a little card or sentiment saying, you know, to and from. So it's, this could be multi-purpose. So not only can you hang a picture or your layout or anything like that from the, on the wall, you can also use it to 
um, hang a sentiment or a gift tag to a gift and I mean this would make it a dual gift you get the tag you get the gift and you get this awesome um, little heart hanger and you can paint them in any color and just like uh, the trims you can dye them or paint them as well as any color so that is my third project I hope you guys like it after the three projects and I didn't even get to use all of my all of my um all of uh, my supplies after that I still have two feet of this trim I still have um, of th this is from my collection uh, from, from my stash but this trim I used all of this trim I used half of this trim so this trim I still have about nine inches and um, of this and a few of these little loops I use most of them like I said actually I have yeah I have a few of these but I used most of that I use it in different pieces I have I still have I didn't get a chance I was going to make um, I still have the full yard of these rosette trims and I was going to make another idea you guys I also had for this jar is you can use this as a gift as well and inside you can make those fluffy fluffy shabby chic um, flowers for Christmas or for anything and stick a few you could probably you can make several out of this trim and the other rosette trim and put them in the little jar as a gift so I have the full yard of that um, full yard of this small rosette trim I didn't get a chance to use it I will I will think of other projects to do and we'll go ahead and use it I still have the full yard of that trim of this beautiful luscious like I said I picked this kit for it to have at least several yards of certain of the trims so you guys had tons and tons of stuff to play with I absolutely love it and for those of you that bought my kit I appreciate it with all of my heart and um, thank you so much hopefully this inspires you if not I would love to see what you create with it um, so let's see here so out of this trim I still have and I use this on two of my projects two out of three and I still have um, 16 inches out of this beautiful beautiful pearl and rhinestone trim the kit came with this doily and the two pins those are still there I can still make tons of projects um, this trim it has this half a yard of this awesome trim now of the heart little uh, laces I still have after using it I still have five of these so you can still make tons of projects with that five there's still a half a yard of this beautiful wide and it's about four and a half inch wide lace and oops, sorry and also I still have a yard of this awesome this trim that Artie is phenomenal for she has this in pink and cream and black I still have a whole yard of that so like seriously your projects have barely begun to start and still have this double oval pearl trim I wanted to use this on so many things I didn't want to overwhelm my projects they're gonna be for me maybe for a gift um, and you can still recreate some of these projects with these trims you know something close to that I still have a yard of the seam binding or two yards excuse me of the seam binding and the satin rosettes so all of that is still in the kit and that's with the um my oops sorry with my cute cute i think it's cute heart hanger my altered mason uh my altered ball jar and my dress form you guys i love this dress form um it, i just wanted to make something for myself oh and another thing i didn't show i made the necklace so it can come off you can change the necklace you know depending on how you feel you want to dress up your dress form so there is the bodice again and the tutu of my dress form totally totally love it so I hope you guys um, get inspired by this or I'd love to see what you guys create with this awesome awesome kit so thanks again Artie for letting me be on your design team and I hope you guys like it let me know what you guys think